next we are going to talk about a requirement what is a requirement we already know a little bit about requirement do you do you remember where we have seen it we have seen it in the copy control chapters in copy controls there is a field called copy control a requirement what did it do it just checks for certain things and finally returns an yes or a no that's it if it's an yes the copy can happen if not it stops for the processing pricing requirement routine acts exactly like this it does some calculation and finally says yes or no if it is a yes then the condition type is evaluated if no the condition type is not evaluated meaning the condition type will just go inactive so let's see a simple example <clears throat> look at pr00 it has a requirement what is it 2 002 what does requirement 2 do so let's go inside 2 click on the list of values select Two, then click on this button to see the code behind it. So SAP will open the code associated with requirement two. And what does this code say? K O M P P R S F D contains any. So C A here means contains any. It's a ABAP keyword. So K O M P PRS FD contains any of these letters. By the way, what is KOMP PRS FD? It's the pricing criteria. If you go to your item category, look at the pricing field. Hit F1. Go to the technical details. See this? The field name. is prsfd so this field signifies the pricing relevance of that item category so let's go back to the logic once again if comp prsfd contains either a b or an x what do these letters stand for again go back to the item category look at the possible list of fields for pricing b means pricing for free goods x means standard meaning if the item category's pricing relevance is either a b or an x then evaluate pricing if not don't evaluate it Don't worry about the rest of the code. Size sub R C, all this stuff is not important. At least at this point, just understand that this requirement routine two will ensure that pricing for that condition type is calculated. But when? It's only when the corresponding item category is relevant for pricing. Not it will be suppressed. Let me give you another example. Let's look at R one hundred. That's the condition type. The requirement here is fifty five. So let's go to fifty five and see what fifty five means. Free goods pricing. So select that. Select the code, and what does it say? K O M P P R S F D equals B. What does B do? B means free goods. We have already seen that. What is free goods? Free goods just means hundred percent discount. If the price is hundred dollars, just give a hundred percent discount. Give it for free. One example of a free goods item category is T A N N. So T A N is standard item category. T A N N is free goods if you go to the details behind tann what is the pricing field b 
free goods so tann is an example of an item category for free goods what does this code mean now if the item category is relevant for free goods for example tann then evaluate this condition type if not don't let's see an example take an order change the item category from tan tan to tann select 20 go to the pricing and you see the r100 condition type right this has been activated for this line item whereas if you go to 10 let's go back to 10 you don't see r100 why because requirement routine 55 evaluated and found that for ta n n item category the pricing criteria is set to b so that condition type was evaluated but for tan tan the pricing criteria is x so it's not free goods and requirement routine 55 deactivated condition type r100 for line item 10 If you want to see this in action, just go to analysis and see why R100 was not activated. Go to analysis. Go to R100. What does it say? Condition ignored. Requirement 55 not fulfilled. That is in case of line item 10. Now go to analysis of line item 20. look at r100 condition type it says condition has been found without condition record so now you see how this condition type r100 is evaluated in 20 and not in line item 10 it's all based on requirement routine 